Howdy folks, me Bob Harris, Senior Editor of FootballDieHards.com. Time for the Saturday Injury Review Preview Update Overview thing uh, that we all seem to enjoy so much. Certainly I do. Um, of course, we have some Saturday games. Uh, they're about to commence. Adam Shaheen was out for the Bears. Uh, no real offensive uh, injury issues for the Saturday night game. Uh, uh, everyone seems to be good to go. Casey Hayward's a little dicey for the Chargers, uh, but beyond that, nothing uh, pressing. You'll want to check the main page of the site in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff to make sure nothing crazy's happened. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll get on to Sunday. A lot going on, right? Uh, that Aaron Rodgers guy is back. Leonard Fournette's questionable. DeAndre Hopkins issues. Joe Mixon's out. Tevin Coleman's out. Kyle Rudolph is ailing. Uh, Adrian Peterson on IR. The Carson Wentz is out. Uh, Josh McCown is out. So I'll run through all these chronologically like we always do, but just kind of lead off with the, the big stories because there's a lot of them. Aaron Rodgers back. Uh, Playing the Carolina Panthers. Uh, it's a tough defense in general. They're really good at getting after the passer. That said, they're not great against uh, fantasy wide receivers. They begin up a lot. So uh, if you're nervous about playing Rodgers in his first week back, maybe get a piece of him with the wide receivers, including Jordy Nelson, uh, who caught six touchdowns on 19 catches uh, during before Rodgers was hurt this year. So there are some plays to be had there. The other side of the ball, Devin Funches listed as questionable. Fully expected to play. Sounds like just a rest day on Friday. Great matchup for the Panthers in their passing attack as well. Uh, Green Bay's defense, not tough, not all that tough against the pass, right? Uh, for the Jaguars, Leonard Fournette uh, listed as questionable. Didn't practice all week. Uh, you know, the, some of the local observers feeling not very comfortable uh, with uh, the likelihood he'll play. Maybe they do hold him out. Alan Hearns is out. If they hold Fournette out, uh, it'll be... It'll be uh, Chris Ivory and TJ Yeldon will share the workload. So that's something you're going to have to watch in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins on the other side of the ball. This is questionable. Did not practice Thursday or Friday with a toe injury. Bill O'Brien says he's going to play. Tom Savage out, of course. Lamar Miller, Alfred Blue. Everyone else off the list. Braxton Miller is out with a concussion. But all the primary weapons will be there, if, especially if Hopkins plays. Uh, TJ Yates will be his quarterback, though. So he will test his quarterback proofness. Also a very tough Jacksonville defense. So... It's a tough call on him as well. Uh, Joe Mixon's been ruled out for the Bengals. Didn't pass his concussion test on Saturday. So Giovanni Bernard will be the primary back against the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota. It's a tough matchup for them, right? So don't go overboard on that. But Bernard has been pretty solid uh, working in, in Mixon's absence. So also a good receiver. So keep that in mind. Other side of the ball, Kyle Rudolph listed as doubtful on Friday. Was upgraded to questionable Saturday. So... Sounds like he has a chance to play. Are you eager to push him into lineups? I check all my options carefully. He's playing on a sore ankle. Did not practice all week. Uh, for the Buffalo Bills, going up against the Miami Dolphins, Kelvin Benjamin is listed as questionable. Sounds like he'll play. Tyrod Taylor will start at quarterback. Nathan Peterman's been ruled out. Everyone else is healthy. Usually LaShawn McCoy off the injury report. Um, of particular note, Charles Clay off the injury report as well. The other side of the ball, Damian Williams listed as doubtful. Looks like a clear path for Kenyon Drake again. Guy's been hot as hell. 48 carries over the last two games. So expect another heavy workload for him against the Buffalo defense that struggles a little bit uh, stopping the run. Uh, Adrian Peterson, season over for the Cardinals. Had the neck injury, uh, just won't come back from that. Uh, John Brown rolled out. Jermaine Gresham rolled out. Ricky Seals-Jones, an option there. Maybe at tight end. Uh, hasn't been getting a ton of playing time, but he's been pretty... Uh, Productive in the limited amount he's gotten. Kerwin Williams will continue to start at running back. Seems like a great volume play. Don't know what I expect beyond that. The other side of the ball. Ryan Grant, wide receiver in, for Washington, is questionable. Sounds like he'll play. Jordan Reed placed on IR. His season is over. It's been a miserable slog. If you, if you drafted him, it's kind of good just to have some clarity and be able to move on, right? Uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles, or the New York Giants going up against Philadelphia Eagles, uh, uh, we'll have uh, Roger Lewis and Travis Rudolph both listed as questionable ankle and hamstring, uh, respectively. Uh, you know, they are primary weapons. You're looking at Sterling Shepard, who is off the injury report. Uh, Evan Ingram, also uh, a good volume play at tight end. So keep those guys in mind. Uh, the other side of the ball, obviously, Nick Foles takes over at quarterback for Carson Wentz. Uh, uh, talking to the local people there, sounds like we'll get a heavy dose of JHIA this week. Um, in addition, uh, some of the local observers think Nelson Aguilar is a good play. Uh, the shorter pass is maybe with Nick Foles and maybe, uh, and Zachary is still a good play and Ertz is back this week from the concussion. So, uh, it'd be interesting to see what Foles can do. We've seen him in the past play very effectively. He's familiar with the system. The coaches are familiar with him. Uh, Doug Peterson was his quarterback's coach when he came to, came to the Eagles and during a successful, successful season. So, um, it's worth noting. 
Um, uh, Mike Wallace going up against uh, Baltimore, going up against Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. Mike Wallace listed as questionable, says he'll play. Chris Moore, wide receiver, also questionable. Um, the other side of the ball, uh, you know, remember uh, Jimmy Smith is out for Baltimore. Their defense has been struggling against the pass, so maybe Deshaun Kaiser, uh, who has been playing better, can hit Josh Gordon and Corey Coleman uh, a little easier. Uh, they've been giving up a lot more points to the passing game. New Orleans goes up against the New York Jets uh, in New Orleans. Um, Alvin Kamara is back, fully cleared, no issues there. Uh, practiced fully all week, got his clearance on Thursday, Friday, so he's good to go. Um, Ted Ginn's listed as questionable for this one. Uh, sounds like he'll play rib injury, but not, not, not fractures or anything. The other side of the ball, Bryce Petty takes over for Josh McCown, who's pretty, pretty solid quarterback and a pretty solid fantasy play. Uh, has also fueled some good games with uh, Robbie Anderson and Jermaine Curse. So uh, we'll see what Petty can keep going. Remember when Anderson hit the radar last year, it was with uh, you know Bryce Petty at quarterback because they had worked throughout training camp and everything. Neither was starters early in the season. So, I mean, that's worth noting. It's scary. Marshawn Lattimore is a tough matchup for Anderson. I'm not saying force him into your lineups. Just don't abandon him completely. If you can give it a wait and see, maybe that's the better thing. But uh, just remember that that's where we first learned of Anderson was playing with Bryce Petty late last season. Uh, for the uh, moving into the late afternoon games, uh, Chris Hogan is listed as questionable. Uh, for the uh, Patriots, expect him to play again. He returned last week and wasn't a great game. Maybe he's a little more sick with Tom Brady in this one. We'll have to see about that. Um, it's a bit of a concern. You know, Brandon Cooks has been a little hit or miss. Hogan a little hit or miss. Sam Adol a little hit or miss. Gronk is back from his suspension too, so keep that in mind. Tom Brady's been great against Pittsburgh over the course of his career. 22 touchdowns, zero interceptions, over 300 yards a game. Brady hasn't been playing great though, so... This is an interesting game. On the other side of the ball, the offense obviously playing very well. Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell getting the job done. Juju Smith-Sue Schuster is listed as questionable. I tweaked the hamstring on Thursday. That's going to be a game-time decision. I'd be careful unless you have a fallback plan there. Vance McDonald's been ruled out. Uh, also in the late after, or Sunday night games, Amari Cooper's been ruled out. Did us a favor there. He aggravated his injury, his ankle injury last week. He uh, was ruled out on Friday. Bryce Butler ruled out for the Cowboys. So uh, fourth receiver there, not a big deal. Tevin Coleman ruled out of the Monday night game. Devontae Freeman has a clear path to heavy workload against the Falcons, against the Buccaneers defense that's out without three starters. Uh, Gerald McCoy, Levante David, uh, Vernon Hargraves all out uh, for this one. So pretty good matchup and Freeman will get a full workload. So there we have it. Uh, week 15, uh, be sure to check the website for updates throughout all the kickoffs. Uh, all kinds of great content, too, from Armando Marsal, John Lobb, myself, J.J. Buck, Brad Cruz. Uh, don't miss out on any of it. Uh, check it out. And also listen to me on the SiriusXM Fantasy Sports Radio, the pregame show, uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, leading right up to kickoff with Jeff Mann. So uh, good luck this weekend. I know the games matter, and, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll move on to our championships. We'll see you next week.